Good morning, BC. It is Sunday morning, Super Bowl day. I'm picking the Chiefs by a touchdown. You heard it here first. Everybody's jumping on the Tom Brady bandwagon. As long as that barber, as long as I don't have that barber around, we should be okay. Um, this is a contest entry for a channel called Brain Twain. I love this channel. Um, they're having a uh, contest, but they're having four contests. I think his name's Brian. I'm sorry, man. Um, four contests. Uh, one every week it starts, and you can enter all four, but you can only win one. But uh, every week's a different uh, theme. So this week is last. I can't remember what the first one was. Geez, I'm having a old man's moment here. Regardless, you can go to Brain Twang's channel, and he's got the list of all the contests, and uh, you can enter them all till the end of the month, I think. So um, this contest is guest stars. Guest stars on albums. Um, I got 10, so let's get going. The one I want to start with is one that he showed as well, but it's because I think it's the only person in the world who knows this band besides me. I can't believe it. When I first started in the BC, you could go back to my videos probably to April, by the time I did this one, I did a video called uh, 20 albums that Americans need to hear, Canadian albums Americans need to hear before COVID ends, I think I titled it. <laughs> and one of the bands I highlighted and one of my favorite bands of all time is Blackie and the Rodeo Kings. It's Canada's super group. Now, Brain Twang made a bit of a mistake. He said it was a duo. It's actually a trio. And the man he left out, Tom Wilson, is actually my favorite uh, member of the band. <laughs> so uh, it's a trio. Tom Wilson, Stephen Faring, and the great Colin Linden. You might, if you're, any, you're aware of anybody, it would be Colin Linden because he works out of Nashville now, does a lot of producing. Uh, he was integral to the show Nashville. He did a lot of the music on there and was actually on the show too. They kept saying, oh, let's bring Colin Linden in to do this and do that. Um, so he's, he's made quite a name for himself in the Nashville area. But incredible slide guitar player. Just a great guitar player in general. All three guys are so talented. Great songwriters and uh, Blackie and the Rotary of Kings. So, um, there are two albums with guest stars, as Brain Twain mentioned. Kings and Queens, which features all female vocalists. Lucinda Williams, Amy Helm, two of my favorites. Goes on and on. Amy Lou, I think, might be on here. There's a bunch. It's a great, great album. Great album. Black and Rodeo Kings, Kings and Queens. And the one they did after, just to make things fair, was Kings and Kings, which is... Uh, all uh, male guest artists on the songs. This one's not as good. This one's freaking awesome. Great album. It's not a country album. Okay. While we're in Canada here, one of the great albums of all time was Cowboy Junkies, The Trinity Sessions. This is The Trinity Sessions Revisited. They went back to the Trinity Church which is just behind the Eaton Center on Young Street, famous church where they recorded the original album. They went back and re-recorded the songs in the same order with guest stars. It's a really great album, and there's a, I think there's a DVD comes with it. Um, Ryan Adams, not Brian Adams, but Ryan Adams, Vic Chestnut, and Natalie Merchant were the uh, guest stars, and uh, really fine album. Cowboy Junkies. Trinity Revisited. Okay, next, one of my favorite artists, Bale Fleck and the Flecktones. Outbound. Special guest artist, John Anderson. Singing on a Bale Fleck and the Flecktones song. Pretty cool. John Anderson, Bale Fleck and the Flecktones. Jerry, speaking of Bale Fleck, he's one of my, being a banjo player, he's like one of my musical idols. Uh, Jerry Garcia Band, the Garcia Live Series, Volume 2. This was recorded August 5th, 1990 at the Greek Theater 
Special guest star, Bale Fleck. Bale Fleck playing with Jerry Garcia. Can't get better than that. Okay, we'll stick to uh, move from Jerry Garcia to The Grateful Dead. You, you detect the theme here? Great live album from a 1990 tour, Wake Up to Find Out. Branford Marsalis does a great guest appearance on this album. Brain Twain mentioned Ry Cooter, my favorite guitar player. That's how I discovered this great artist, Peter Case. This album is known as Blue Guitar, but it is called The Man with the Post, with the Blue Post Modernist Fragmented Neo Traditionalist Guitar. Uh, Peter Case, great frickin' album. Ry Cooter plays on one song on here called Intella Hotel. Okay, the late, great Greg Allman. This is the album he worked on when he had terminal cancer. He decided to make an album of, uh, I'd say 90% is covers of his favorite cover songs. He does Going, Going, Gone, the Bob Dylan song. He does uh, Black Muddy River, or a Grateful Dead song. Uh, Willin, the great uh, Little Feet song. Um... And the last song he did, does is a song that he said always reminded him of his brother, Song for Adam, written by Jackson Brown, and Jackson Brown guests on it with him. Um, Greg breaks down at the end of the song and can't sing the last line, and they left it that way. Uh, it's kind of sad, but it's really poignant and uh, beautiful. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful album. Southern Blood, Greg Allman. Okay, Rolling Stones. Who guest stars on more albums than Eric Clapton? Eric Clapton plays on Blue and Lonesome. Ah, the great, great Van Morrison. Cahoots, 4% Pantomime. Van Morrison guest stars. And one of the great guest vocal performances ever recorded, in my opinion. Led Zeppelin IV, Zoso, whatever you want to call it, Sandy Denny. Beautiful Battle of Evermore. Oh, just a great performance. Love Sandy Denny. Thanks for doing the contest, man. I appreciate it. That's uh, about seven minutes. I'm out of here. Everybody subscribe to Brain Twang. Take care.